I was just reading through some literature on the in the user guide on this motherboard and in particular I want to look at um, some uh, memory that was purchased to go into this build and I want to look at one little detail here regarding the um, well first of all first of all I'm reading through the literature about the M2 slots the locations of them some details so what I want to focus on is the uh, sh uh, the M2 shield frozer heat sink and the um, the thermal pads that come with which um, if you look here closely um, you can see the thermal pad right here it's kind of drooping a little bit there and then here it appears to be in contact with the uh, very thin uh, SSD Western Digital Black Gaming uh, that one is okay so there's two of them one is with a heat sink the other one is without a heat sink these are the dimensions and I'm I'm focused on these numbers here the 8.8 .8 millimeters and the 2.38 millimeters and that's what this um, that's what this SSD is right here it's 2.38 millimeters thick now it looks to be a little thicker than the thermal pad or just about the same size thickness as the thermal pad how much is 2.38 millimeters you ask well lucky for you I have some um, reference material here this is 1 16th of an inch That circuit board right there is approximately the thickness of this, which is 1.58 or 1.6 millimeters. Put two of those together and you get one of these. This is one eighth of an inch thick, 3.175 or 3.18 or 3.2. 3.2 millimeters okay the, this this um, drive here is 2.38 millimeters why do I keep mentioning how many millimeters this is the thermal pad looks to be approximately the same dimension as this uh, horseshoe shim which is 1.5 or 1.6 millimeters and the circuit board uh, uh, the, the, the drive itself comes with a circuit board printed circuit board and it comes with the chips mounted to the circuit board so you got to take account uh, that height as well so overall it works out to 2.38 millimeters and 8.8 .8 millimeters with the heat sink on the drive itself mounted to the drive so I don't know if you can see this very good but I am suggesting that there is no contact with the thermal pad and the chip on the board for the drive. And as far as I know, I've got it mounted in the correct location. 
as you can see, everything is parallel and level and seated and screwed and fastened and secured properly. This little keyed notch right here in the frozer heat sink that is, uh, comes with this motherboard from MSI. I think, and I could be wrong, but for this to make contact with this board here and the chips on the board, either uh, a thicker um, thermal pad here or this uh, keyed notch right here needs to be milled out some more a little bit deeper so that when you uh, tighten this screw here that um, it'll pull tightly uh, down far enough to make contact with the, uh, the chips that are on the PCB of this SSD. Does that make sense? Or am I imagining this? I think I have contact here at this one location here, but uh, the other uh, three chips that are on the circuit board, I can um, see daylight uh, through uh, the frozer heat sink, the thermal pad, which is stuck to the frozer heat sink, and the actual SSD itself. That's 2.38 millimeters thick. Now I went and checked to see if some of the other M2 drives from different manufacturers were different thicknesses, but they're all within the same spec. So with the heat sink on, let's imagine this now with the, the, the drive with the heat sink, and you got 8 millimeter, 8.8 uh, millimeters. 8.8 .8 millimeters with the heat sink, okay? What does 8 millimeters look like? Well, this is 6.35 or 6.4 millimeters. And if you want to make that 8 millimeters, you could easily add um, this guy right here. That's uh, 6.5. Uh, Eight, seven point eight, so that's eight millimeters, and we're just point eight of a millimeter uh, shy of um, of eight millimeters. But just for argument's sake, let's just go with the seven uh, point eight millimeters here, and see how that might actually fit in here. Is there actually space to put? Because uh, at first I thought I might have got the wrong uh, SSD. But there isn't even enough headroom to be able to get 8 millimeters or 8.8 .8 millimeters of heat sink uh, SSD in that space. In this space, the screws here aren't even long enough uh, for you to, to go up that high and this keyed notch here is not milled out or engineered for 8.8 .8 millimeters of product in there um, so which leads me to believe that I have the correct SSD installed for this board that was engineered for this application however I think there is a problem with the frozer heat sink. Is there anybody at MSI or in the, the computer building world that could tell me otherwise? Appreciate any information. Thank you for watching.